uh, hello everyone uh, today we'll see how we can uh, create secrets in secret manager using cloud formation template so i'm going to use a yaml template to create a secrets in secret manager this cloud formation template is really helpful when you want to deploy infrastructure as a code and when this template is ready we can easily deploy the service into a different region or even to a different account so in that way this infra cloud formation cloud formation template is really helpful let's quickly see a demo on uh, demo on this how we can build a uh, Secrets and secret manager using a cloud formation template. Uh, before I go into the template, let's quickly see about see about AWS Secret Manager. The Secret Manager is mainly used to protect secrets needed to access applications, services, and IT resources. So this may primarily mainly used to store the secrets required for the applications, services, and IT resources. The service enables you to easily rotate, manage, and retrieve database credentials, API keys, and other secrets throughout the life cycles. So with the help of secret manager we can easily rotate the secrets and it's mainly used to protect all protect all your uh, credentials in a secure way so that's pretty much about secret manager now see the key key benefits of secret manager the first one is rotate secrets safely as we know earlier in my, as, as we seen in earlier demo we can easily rotate the secrets in secret manager the next one is access using a fine grade iam policies we can limit the access using a fine grade iam policies the third one is we can easily replicate the secrets to multiple regions that also we can see in this demo we can easily replicate secrets to multiple regions the third the fourth one is secure and audit secrets centrally and the last one is the pay as you go as you know like we need to pay for the use let's quickly uh, go to template and we can create the secrets in secret manager uh, this is the yaml template the template file name is secrets.yml so here we can create secrets in two ways one is either we can hard code the secret value in the template or we can dynamically generate the secret value in the template itself so we can see uh, these two ways in this template the first one is hard coding secret in the template in this template first we need to define the resources first we need to define the type of resources it's aws secret manager secrets and and the property section we need to provide the name of the temp name of the secrets the secret name is secret hyphen one then the description of the secret then we need to provide the secret value here the secret under secret string we need to provide the key value for the example here i mentioned the username the value is test so this is the secret value i'm going to store in the secret and here the tags you can give the tags as key secret type one one the value is dev so in this way we can hard code the secret value in the template this is one way second way is we can dynamically generate the secret value in the template so again you have mentioned the type the type here is you know secret manager secret in the property section we have to mention the name secret 2 this is the sec second secret i need to provide the description of this one next you need to provide a generate st uh, secret string then a secret uh, string template you need to provide the uh, value username and the value admin 123 for example this is one of the key value per username and the value the next is generate string key so this is the next uh, key so the password and this password value going to gen dynamically generate at the runtime you run this template in the cloud formation service the password length is 30 here so we can define the length of the password and if you want to exclude any characters in the password you can define though we can define those characters in the in this list next we mentioned tax the key secret to and value so in this in this way we can create secrets and secret manager using cloud format template the first the first one we can be for the first secret we're gonna we're gonna hard code the secret value in the template in the second one we're gonna dynamically generate the value for password in that the template Let's quickly run this template in CloudFormation service and see how the secrets are created in Secret Managers. Uh, right now I am in AWS portal. Let's quickly, see, let's quickly see the Secret Manager and see if there's any secrets available in that Secret Manager. So currently I don't have any secrets in Secret Manager. So now we're going to create the secrets using CloudFormation template in this Secret Manager. Let's quickly go into CloudFormation service. Click on CloudFormation. So here we're going to create a stack first. Click on create stack with new resource. And the first here, the prepared template. We have template is ready. So we're going to click choose that option. Next, I'm going to upload this template from my local. So upload a template file here. The choose file here. And I have chosen the file here that it's now uploaded. The template name is secrets.yaml. So I'm going to click on next. So I'm going to give a secret name here uh, secrets. 
then there's no parameter I'm passing to this template just uh, I'm going to leave it, uh, go to click on next so I'm going to uh, give uh, keep the remain as it is tags permissions everything as it is click on next and click on create stack so once you click create on uh, create stack on the back uh, then the cloud formation template gonna run that template and create all those uh, at, uh, resources in the background so if you click on stack info it shows create complete if you check the events you could see those secrets are created in the secret manager let's quickly jump into secret manager and see whether those secrets are created in the secret manager secrets manager So I have uh, and the template you see the, the template name secret one secret two that's why you could find this uh, secrets here secret one hyphen and secret uh, secret hyphen one and secret hyphen two then the description also here and you click on this secret one if you go down further you can retrieve secret value it will show the secret value username and the secret value is per test so this is the, this is the hard coded way like we hard code this value in the template so that's what you could see here we gave the uh, key as username the password we, I mean the value we are given as test here so that's why you could see this value here and you can see here the encryption key here so we did not mention any key in the template but by default AWS uses the AWS secret manager key and the KMS. Go to the next key uh, next key is secret hyphen 2 so this is in this in this secret we, we are dynamically generate the password here so if you go down and retrieve secret value if you see the username which we provided in the template but the password, the value is dynamically generated in the uh, dynamically generated here using the template. So in this way, we can create we can create the secrets in Secret Manager. Either or either you can hard code a value in the secret, or you can directly generate the value using the template. Next, quickly see a demo like how we can replicate the secrets to a different uh, region. So for example, right now I'm in London region. So I'm going to replicate to another another region now. So I'm going to click uh, store a secret. So I'm going to use other type of secret here. I'm going to mention here the key as some test one. The value is value one. Okay. So my key value is test one value one. And the encryption key I'm using a default encryption in the secret manager. Click on next here. I'm going to give secret name as replicate 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 secret uh, name itself I mentioned replicate secret replicate secret and if you go to, uh, if you go to further you'll find the option called replicate secrets here you can click on replicate secret here you can choose the region which region you want to replicate the secret for example if i'm going to give North Virginia here then I mean, you can choose that region here then click on next here so again if you want to give a rotation you can choose the rotation here but right now i'm not going to use this rotation then click on next finally you're going to store the secret Finally, you got to show the secret in the secret manager. So now this replicate secret is created here. Once you go inside, you will find the secret value here. It's like uh, test one. The value is value one. So this is what we given given in this uh, secret. Now I'm in uh, uh, London region. Let's quickly go into uh, North Virginia region. And see or how it is reflected there. So right now I'm in North Virginia. I'm going to secrets, and you could see secret name as replicate secret here. And if you see the value, test one value. So in this way, we can easily replicate the secrets from one region to other region. Now I'm going to delete this stack. So this stack will delete the secrets from Secret Manager. Delete stack in progress go into the region and I'm going to use secret manager see here now this uh, stack is deleted now so when you delete the stack and the resource which are created as part of the stack will, be, will also be removed from this uh, environment. So those two secrets are now removed from this uh, secret manager. 
So this one I created manually. So that's the reason you could see the secret here. And the other two secrets which were created through template, that's been deleted as part of the delete stack. So in this way we can create uh, create secrets in Secret Manager using CloudFormation template. That's pretty much for this video and thanks for watching.